Should the New York Jets pass on tackle and edge and come away with a corner at number four in the NFL draft next month? That's the topic of today's video. If you like what I'm doing, smash that like button. Consider hitting that red button to even subscribe. Now, since forever, it has been either tackle or edge for the Jets at four. Besides, way back in the day, Derek Stingley, remember those days? Now a new name has started to surface. The Jets could possibly be taking Ahmad Sauce Gardner, cornerback Cincinnati, number four overall. And it's really growing on me. This pick is really growing on me. We need to stop thinking of these two picks, four and 10, as separate entities, but rather how they can synergize and harmonize with one another. Say you're going, say you and the wife, the girlfriend, both need new cars. You go to the car dealership. Are you just going to not talk to each other and you just get whatever car you want, you get whatever car I want? And then we'll just see what happens. You take the best car available for that price and I'll take the best car available. Doesn't matter what style. Doesn't matter sedan, SUV, pickup. No. You're going to look at here's what we need. Now let's look at the best value for where we're both shopping. You're not going to both come away with a Ford F-150. That'd be nice, right? (laughs) Maybe you need an F-150 and a sedan. Maybe somebody needs a a nice BMW lease for work meetings. And then the other one needs a Kia Sportage, right? Maybe I need a Kia Sportage to slip the kids to soccer practice when my wife drives the BMW to her big wig meetings, right? These two purchases have to synergize and harmonize with each other. That's the top picks in our draft, four and 10. So let's stop looking at, oh, at, at four, at four, we have to do this. We can't do this at four. No, what are the two players we're coming away with and how does that look? How does that look as a one combined move? That's how we have to think about this. Because now, if, uh, man, Kayvon Thibodeau, we knew he was a bad dude on the field, but now he might be a bad dude off it. And that's a bummer. That's a real bummer. Maybe we don't, maybe the top two tackles are off the board and we want to pass on Kayvon. For me, then it's an easy pick. It's sauce because I'm not sure he's going to be there at 10. I think Carolina might take him. I think Atlanta might take him. The Giants might even take him. They have two picks. So you know one's O-line. And then the second pick, if there's not an edge they like, they might take Sauce Gardner at seven. So I like Sauce Gardner at four. And now we have a lot of flexibility at 10. You could take one of the second tier edge guys, Karlaftis, Trevon Walker, Jermaine Johnson, if you like one of those guys at 10. So I'm fine with either three of those edge guys at 10. For me at 10, for wide receiver, it's got to be Garrett Wilson, or then I'm waiting to the second round. I think Garrett's the only receiver that's worthy of a top 10 pick. So Sauce Gardner, 6'3", 200 pounds, hasn't allowed a touchdown ever, allowed less than 200 yards against him last year, Corner, not what it used to be, but still one of the premier positions. Day one starter, a position of need, and maybe best player available at that point. He really might be if you're going to pass on Kayvon. I'm okay with Sauce Gardner at four, and we have to start looking at these two picks like they're married to each other. And they have to communicate to each other and be on the same page. All right, that's my thoughts on picks four and 10. Where are you at? Is four too high for Sauce Gardner? Who do you want at 10? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching and go Jets.